Okay, on prior videos, I first showed this guy, which was the parts computer. That was the big mistake, especially when they gave me a, a CPU that was bent and chips broken and everything else. So I thought, well, maybe I can do something with the parts. And one of the parts that I'm interested in is this Wi-Fi card because in a different video, we went over the uh, G1, uh, Elite Desk 800 G1, and it's got an older Wi-Fi card that only does um, N, and I'd like to um, get uh, speeds closer to AC. So, as we can see, it looks like it's a dual band wireless N72060 that's in there right now. And if I run fast.com, I get kind of a disappointing 46 uh, megabits per second. So we'll see if we can transfer uh, that particular card over there and get some better speeds. Okay, first we'll take out the old one, or I should say the, the new old one, the one that's going to be... Um, taken out of this parts one and uh, transfer it to the other. Pretty much just one simple screw here. Now, in there, I don't know, with the haste with <laughs> this uh, messed up um, parts computer, they already removed the um, antenna from here. But normally, of course, these are going to be on here. Hopefully when we get on the other, well, that, you know, they didn't munch it when they uh, took these guys off. Okay, just one simple screw. There we go. All right. Okay, now we've got our G1. Oh, that's right. We get to take the uh, drive cage out in order to get down into there. Okay. So I'm pretty sure the finding all kinds of parts coming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this goes to, but it came, it was, it fell out. Okay, we'll keep that to the side. Um, the Wi-Fi should be under this guy. So, as we discovered before, there's this little latch that helps to uh, disconnect, but kind of a poor design because you've got this critical cable right here. And this guy is feeding into the fan uh, for the um, CPU. So um, I don't know if you can notice it's already gotten a little... I don't think that's corrosion. I think it just could be just dust, but we we'll just have to be careful. So we'll push this and give this guy a little nudge. Actually, maybe, oh, that's right. If you watch my G1, remember now, we've got to disconnect, I believe, this guy first to give it enough room so it can move out. Um, so we've got to disconnect the SATA. Disconnect this all right move that a little bit out of there now let's see okay it's, it's getting there all right 
SATA drive out. You can see the RAM and there's our Wi-Fi right there. Let's see, are we gonna need now? We're gonna need a different where did we put the ah here they are. Whoa, okay, sorry about that. Maybe when we get this off, we'll figure out where this other part came from. Okay, just about there. All right, Caddy is out. There's our, oops, sorry. There's our old guy. Okay. All right, let's remember the, uh, looks like the uh, white cable is down near the screw, black cable is at the top, so we put it back on the right way. Okay, kind of pop. Okay, that came off pretty nicely. They always come off well. It's it's getting them back in is sometimes a little little challenge, or to get that good um, snap. Uh, oh, interesting! It uses some sort of um, I don't know what you call that. It's uh, wow, that's almost. I wouldn't call it proprietary, but, uh, oh, oh no, I guess it's not. No, it's, it's got a blade. Okay, so let's try just a f straight flat. No, too big. Let's try this one. I got it. Wow, it's it's in there pretty tight. Debating whether to use the same screw to put it in. Okay, so I'm looking at them. Old, new. Did I do that right? Well, that was a little embarrassing. I had to go have someone <laughs> read me the, the stuff to make sure I'm doing the right one. This is the new guy. Now, what's kind of nice is it does show on there. Uh, it even actually has, you know, the black and the white, which is what we had said is that the um, white was uh, closer to the where the screw is going to go in. So I don't know if it's easier to put the... Um, Connectors on first. Let's see. Okay. Well, it took a little bit of uh, finagling. Um, what I found uh, myself easiest was to attach th the two of them and then slide it in to the slot and then tighten the screw. I mean... I guess your mileage will vary depending on how it is. I've I've done these in um, uh, um, I'm sorry on laptops and it was a lot easier, but this was a little more challenging. So I'm hesitant to put the drive back in and reconnect all that stuff until I'm sure that it will work. Now um, I can boot um, using into the Win Win 10 XPE and test it that way. That's basically what I did when I was testing the um, uh, beforehand. So I think we're gonna give that a try. Well, I went back in and 
I don't know, fast.com was doing some funky stuff. So I tried the Cloudflare instead, 237 megabits per second. Um, so it's possible even the, when we tested it before, it wasn't totally accurate. But 237 is about what I get uh, on my normal computer while connected to um, the LAN. So that's pretty good. And as you notice here, now it does say that we are a dual band wireless AC8260. So I consider that a success. Um, got something out of the uh, um, uh, the parts computer. I think saved six bucks because that's what the network card usually goes for now on eBay.